why uh, can you tell us, let Nigerians know why, what's the progress in the formation of cabinet? Where are we in that place? And secondly, are you a candidate <laughs> <laughs> or aspirant? <laughs> You have the mic. microphone, sir. Mike. The answer is no. I'll take uh, from the last the last uh, issue you raised about members of the opposition coming to pay courtesy call on the president. Um, I'm sure you are specifically referring to Pius and uh, Anyim and and Olisa, and the two you know two prominent uh, PDP. Members, I, I was actually at the meeting. I sat in the meeting throughout. We uh, case, we case, case is is, is self-explanatory. We didn't. We uh, we had. Uh, I think it was the tempestuous nature of uh, the PDP internal political wranglings that uh, caused we case issue. And you are all aware of that. It needs. It needs no. So the, that one has no, we have no issues with the wicked thing. It was an internal affairs of PDP. So, however, if as a political party, your enemy is fighting himself, you reap whatever gains from it without lifting a finger. That's what, that's what happened. I don't think that is even, uh, you know, uh, very germane. Now about uh, the, the PDP people that came, you know, the president said that his administration is running an open door policy and is a unifier, is a symbol of unity of the country. So if anybody from any angle wishes to see the president and has some salient points to raise or issues of observation or even suggestion or advice, the president opens his doors. And so those people, uh, Pius Ayim and Elisa Metu came purposely to commend the president. I'm sure you interviewed them, you heard what they said. They, they came to commend the president for his very, very positive policy initiatives that, has, that have put Nigeria back on the global stage. And uh, it's not just their own saying, it's not just what they say they observed, we have received the same accolade and encomium from all parts of the globe. So it's not restricted to the, the PD people. I think we should only commend them for being quite honest and sincere with their views because there are some of the opposition people who also acknowledge these very laudable uh, initiatives of, of the president but are too uh, prejudiced or myopic or parochial to acknowledge it publicly. So we need to commend those people for having the guts. Sorry, uh, about the, your ministerial list. <laughs> if you were an aspirant, I would have been, I would have asked you to see me outside <laughs> for, for, for consultation since you are not. But the simple truth is that, the pre, you know, we, this is an executive presidency. It's not, a, we are not running a parliamentary system. So the president, the box stops on his table and he decides when it's uh, fit and proper for him to uh, make his cabinet list known. Uh, we are not unaware of all the speculations and uh, innuendos and rumors, all kinds of things in the media. But I, as a media man, I, I chuckle to myself that people want to sell. So they just fabricate. I can tell you all of those things you've been reading in the media are mere fabrications. There is no iota of truth in all of those things. When the president is good and ready, you will be the first to know about his intentions. Please. Wait, 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 before you ask her. Make sure it's related. Yeah, it's related to when. Yes. I'm sure you're also aware that the former president's time to be which manages the president before the name of the ministerial manager. It is our own. I just want to find out if the president is taking taking part of this, considering what he knows. 
you are you, that's hypothetical. The the date has not uh, lapsed, right? The president, President Inumbu, is still within the time frame. Uh -huh, so there's no issue there. It's only when he exceeds that that you can start raising issues. <laughs>